Hello and welcome back, everyone, to another night. Oh, getting yourself set up right there, yeah. Coffee. Uh, another night of CRL action. Ibram right here, Coffee with me. How are we feeling today? Feeling good. Feeling uh, good. You know, after that win yesterday against Valley Field, that sweep. Oh, yeah. Uh, you definitely have a little bit of momentum here as you do have uh, Seton Hall, which is also a good team, also sitting at one and one. Uh, the only thing is they got swept yesterday mm -hmm. uh, versus a very strong Akron team, I believe. So, you know, little different story from both of these teams coming into today. But, you know, USF, they have so much momentum. And I, I hear Sean's eating a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. Right I was now. literally going to so. be the one to bring it up. <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's going to be my thing. You know, I'm going to want to talk about it. But, of course, you can just take it. Yeah, Whatever, man. I, I don't care. He's don't eating care. right now. So, he's, you know, he's getting fueled, uh, as I think all these Bulls right now are, are getting ready for this matchup. But, you know, it is very early to get those, you know, early season or very good to get those early season wins because mm – -hmm. Later off in the season, you start fighting for playoff spots. And usually when you're... You wish USF, you got those early points exactly. back in the week you, one. You wish you got those wins earlier so you don't really have to worry about it later when, it, when you start talking about, you know, playoff uh, situations. Uh, so games like this, even though it's early in the season, are very, very important. Yeah, and honestly, like, when you go into every single game in CRL, it feels important because yeah. we were just talking, we're looking at the standings. Teams don't feel that far off from each other. They yeah. really don't. Like, you know that there's always going to be, like, the top teams that mm -hmm. can take games off of everyone. But if you're able to get some upsets when you're, you get along the way, it makes your life so much easier as you get on and you're able to actually get into playoffs and maybe cause some mayhem. Yeah, it really does. I, I think, you know, you of course you're always going to have the Northwoods, you're going to have the Akrons, mm -hmm. but this season it feels a little, little different. It feels like every team really has a chance to compete here. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, it really does mean that these early games mean so much because – if a team like Northwood, if a team like Ak Akron, if you can beat them early, then you don't really have to worry about playing the stronger teams later in the season. Of course, we played Northwood first game. We did take a loss, mm -hmm. uh, taking a map off of them, though. So, you know, a lot of confidence does come from that when you are able to take a map off of one of the better teams. in the, in the, in the and, and talking about playing early, because well, as you guys hear the sounds, we yeah. are getting ready to get into game right now. So maybe we'll talk about early later on as we get into our first game of the series. USF versus Seen Hall. Let's see what we're able to do here. Mm, Stokely already Ooh. looking for the first goal of the match with a great uh, flip there off the ceiling. And it looks like Seton Hall waiting and trying to see if they can get a touch here from Golden Light. They do, and it looks like oh, it's, it's dangerous, dangerous coming down. But Sean reads the bounce well and gets a decent 50. Now Tone, with no boost to his name, is going to play back for this mid or back corner boost. We'll get the flip. He likes to use it, but again, not real threat as bangers there in the goal. Yeah, just not powerful enough right there, and Banger is able to take good care of it. This is not a great touch right here, and Sean's going to be able to get it first. Who's there from USF? Golden Light He's going to wait out a little bit for it, push it to the side. He doesn't have much boost on his end either. But we were just talking about how Golden Light always makes it seem like he has boost sometimes. Yeah, he does. And now this is a tough spot for Sean. Going Ooh. for the bump is the Seton Hall player. But again, Sean, even though getting bumped, He's able to get in a position to play some defense. Now, Froze does get it past one, and the pass is there. But again, an early contest. No touch from the striker from Seton Hall, and Froze just has to tap in. That's unlucky. A little bit of a chip over the defense. Mm. Banger couldn't get the touch either. You know, just two misplays right there. Yeah. You know, sometimes only one misplay is going to make it, but two will definitely result mm -hmm. in a goal. Yeah, Banger, I, I can imagine, definitely expected a shot from the Seton Hall member that was up. And was definitely late. You know, if you are late, you kind of have to position yourself oh. a little. Oh, is Stokely almost get a touch? Um, but yeah, Banger was a little late to that challenge. Uh, not in time to get there. So Seton Hall will get that first goal. But Sean, Sean has something to say as he does get past two. Waiting to see if someone's in the midfield. Is someone there? Yes, it is. And it will be Golden Light answering the call. Oh, we like that. You know, getting over the defender, getting over the second defender and just laying it up in the air. Golden Light telling them, hey... There you go, buddy. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. You know, once you see your teammate get past two members, you're going you for have that goal as that, fast as possible because you, you know Sean's going to try to set you up there. So Golden Light reads the play well and, you know, equalizes this game. Yeah. When you're given such a nice assist right there, you have to score for it. Sean doesn't have too much boost. Mm, that's a good steal, though. a nice pick right there. Golden Lights. Ooh, mm. this is not a great touch right here. Banger, what he's able to do. It's a very awkward spot for both teams, but USF is able to keep it up at least. Yeah, I like that cut from Sean. Realizes that no one from his team is really contest. in possession. And how? Oh, okay. Uh, Froze left it there for Tone to, to clear it away. And now maybe an opportunity here for Seton Hall. I expected a midfield pass, but it set a shot on target. Uh, forces USF to make a save. Froze there a little late as Golden Light does get the touch. And now 1v1 with Banger 
and Good Seton win. Hall defender, but a great 54 Seton Hall as this ball is still not a threat. And with that clear away, Stokely's going to be able to dribble this one out of his field. Stokely, let's see what he's able to do. Golden Light going mm. up forward, but still very, very dangerous. Sean at least gets it out for now. Tone puts it back up. Banger is going to be able to control that. And hopefully get a clearing now. See what we're able to do. But Seton Hall is keeping up the pressure. Yeah, they are keeping up the pressure, especially with demo plays there on that right side That's of the not pitch. A great touch. Oh, Sean, I mean, <laughs> you might not think it's a great touch. Now Seton Hall will take possession, uh, but maybe a shot here from Stokely. Stopped by Sean, leaves it for Banger. And I don't know. I don't see too many of those midfield passes from Seton Hall. It always seems like mm. whenever the ball is up and for them, they're going for that shot. And, you know, sometimes, of course, it will work. But uh, that first goal was, I will say, it was more of a USF mistake than a, than a Seton Hall goal, in my opinion. Uh, I, I agree, but... It, it definitely comes oh, no. when you have good teammates, and you're aware as this one just slowly floating towards the goal, but good save from oh, USF. Another, another great touch. Another great block from Banger. Uh, needs some boost. We'll get that one. Maybe a 50 here, but it goes the way of Seton Hall, but great read by Sean. Low on boost. Going to have to leave Ooh. it for a teammate, and Golden Light just isn't there in time. I was really looking for him to get a touch off that backboard when it came down, but just wasn't in the right place, and Seton Hall is all over it. And that tone, like, Pretty much shot that came in at the very top corner. Leaves it so, so easy for his team. And that's a 2-1 lead for St. Hall. Let's see what USF is able to do. They do not want to fall early on. Want to get this going. You know, now Banger with a shot. Ooh, good shot. A better touch by Stokely. If that ball goes back midfield, you have two USF members just waiting. Fun fact, I know there's only been two games played so far in the season, but USF has taken both first games off of both their opponents. So this hundred percent first blood, which 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 is something that I'm not used to saying as a USF fan. They usually true, true. start a little slower, but Golden Light's going to try to keep their streak of winning Banger. first game alive. Now this one in the midfield, Sean will oh. be there to read it and keep this one close. You know, we just saw Sean like literally like ten minutes ago. He yeah. looks like the same exact thing as his picture. Like I mean, he lo he looks exactly like that, that. That's how pictures work. You know? I know. I'm really hoping like <laughs> we like it's not like he changed. He just looks like the same exact from yeah. like a few months ago. Well, that, that picture was definitely a little longer than a few months ago. Uh, but, you know, <laughs> a minute left here for either one of these teams to find an answer. And now Stokely has a little bit of possession here. The bump or attempt of bump in the back line is Sean goes up. Not the best touch from Sean. Is now a counterattack here from Seton Hall. Ooh. Cleared away by Golden Light, but still a threat here as Seton Hall are putting shots on goal. Sean in front of that one. And all of USF's member kind of just sitting in the same place now. Seen all can get a little bit of a passing play here. It could be very Stokely devastating. going up for it. This is very, very dangerous right here. Oh, wait. Just to let it go for Tone, but he's not able to get it. Now, Banger. Let's see what he's able to do. USF oh, a with a shot. good attack oh, here. Oh, shot misses. The but double. You know, that was definitely scary because Sean had so much time and an open net, but misses it. But, hey, if you're going to miss it, miss it close uh, front post so you can get back to it. And Stokely still too slow. And now 30 seconds to go. Seton Hall need one more. I have one word for that play, Coffee. You know what it is? What? Calculated. <laughs> okay. That's all we need to say about that one. It's, oh, bump, okay. The bump. bump goes through. Golden Light. Let's see what he's able to do. Again, Seton Hall. They are not with too much boost right there. And now Golden Light is able to get it up for USF. Froze now in a very, ah. very tough situation. Sean trying to get it for his team. Golden Light. Trying to get possession, but it's a very, very tough situation for St. Hall. They need to do something. Seven seconds are oh, left. Oh, and that miss. That and miss they, hurts because that was all your momentum. Everyone for St. Hall was going upfield, expecting a boom of a clear, maybe a pass play. But instead, it will be ground. ball down. USF will be taking game one. No, good, good game one victory. We continue our 100% first blood victory. Oh. Whoa, a little blur. Ooh. There you go. You're good. You're good. Looking nice. Looking nice. Oh, yeah. We do continue our streak. You know, it, it did look a little <laughs> bleak there as we were down 1-2 uh, with about a minute 30 yeah. left. But USF pulling it back and taking the dub 3-2. to two. I, I mean, this is really good for them. They have mm -hmm. the momentum now. You know, they start late usually. Starting early could be a very good sign against a team like Seton Hall. Because Seton Hall, if you let them warm up, just like most teams in this league, if you let them warm up, They'll get very, very dangerous very quickly. So for us to take that first game, very, very good news. Warm up or not, USF took that first game, and now definitely teams are both Ooh, ready banger. to go because it's game two almost. The first goal right there from Sean. By the way, he's been having a great series so far. Yeah, I could definitely say that. For a lot of players, Sean gets a little bit of a pre-flip touch off that corner. 
uh, but still Seton Hall staying alive. But I like this pressure right now from the Bulls. Make sure this ball stays here. A little clear from Tone, but Sean will be at the tail end of it. But make sure this ball does not get out of their half. Keep the pressure on. Slowly but surely, you'll see their boost meters start dwindling. And that's when oh, you pass. become very threatening as Banger Boy taking advantage of that pressure. You can save those shots right there. Very, very well placed from Banger. Gets it able to get it off the wall. Then just put it in a place where Tone mm. can't really get a clean touch on yeah. it. Yeah, I think Tone might have had a weird jump off of that corner. Uh, you you and I both know if you get on that corner and jump, you're going to go the wrong way, and you, it's never, ever something you want happen to you. I don't know why you put me in that like group that. of knowing. Uh, let's, let's just say that. You never jumped off the corner of the goal? Like, you just ramped off of it? I don't know, man. That's too much thinking on my end. I hit ball, I see ball, you know? That's fair. In that order. <laughs> yeah, actually, a great pass here from Golden Light down to Sean. Takes two to make the save. And maybe an opening here, but instead froze will be the head of this counterattack here for Seton Hall as they look to get something more. But instead, oh, Banger. Banger maybe opting for a flipper step. But no, it's Sean coming out <laughs> of nowhere. And Banger oh, will yeah. be there. It's a little too high, but Golden Light will be there to seal it off. And I'm loving this pressure. I'm loving this three-man play from the Bulls. That's such a weird play right there. So Banger's dribbling it. Sean says, thank you very much. Takes the shot. And then that leaves it up for Golden Light, who finishes off the goal. That was a complete team play yeah, right there I, from well, USF. I definitely think Seton Hall was, they were a little too, too relaxed. You know, you definitely yeah. have to contest a little earlier if you are froze there. Because uh, you know Golden Light, that third man, he's going to come and he's going to be there quickly to make sure that he can try to give his team some sort of goal opportunity. Oh. Golden Light, I believe, gets a flip reset there, but nothing comes out of it. Unlucky we weren't able to get too much out of that one right there. Golden Light now mm. putting it up. Banger doesn't have too much. Stokely. Having to save that one. Gets another touch on it. Now Golden Light. Let's see what he's able to do. He's only one back with Banger. Oh, backboard. Who's the third? Forcing Hall. Not close enough. Now Sean starts the counterattack. Tone going up for it. Takes it down. Can Banger contest this? Mm. He's not able to. But uh, he's just going to let the ball go as well. Mm, yeah. I thought Sean was going to get demo there. Uh, as the ball was kind of just slowly coming towards him. But again, three minutes to go. It seems like there's been so much more time with the pace of play of this game. But still plenty of time for Seton Hall to get something. But again, with the way that... You, ooh, a little oh, bit of a fake here from Froze. Has no boost. Can Sean read this bounce? Yes, he does. Stokely has to go up, puts it straight down. And as there was a little bit of a traffic mm. jam in front of goal, but USF will clear it away. Yeah, wouldn't we know a thing or two about traffic jams mm. as USF continues this oh, aggression? Gosh. By the way, we were just talking about demos. Much, much less demos than last game against Valley Fields, who were so aggressive on yeah. that and were able to demo constantly. Yeah, it definitely plays into your mental when you have to worry about not just rotation, not just about these passing plays, but about the aggressiveness in the backfield, that third man getting those demo plays. It can really tear apart your rotation. So it's really important that you can try to avoid those. So far, though, Seton Hall not really as aggressive, Only neither is USF. But it'll, it's allowed for USF to create a lot of these passing plays in the midfield that Seton Hall still hasn't had an answer to. Yeah, and that's, again, where USF shines. It's that team play. It's that consistent passing between teammates. You don't really mm. see that too much from some of the lower-end teams in CRL. But, by the way, CRL in general, just great teams all around. There's no bad teams in this tournament at all. Nah, I, I wouldn't say there's any bad teams in this league so far. Uh, from what oh, I've seen, actually, yep, there they go. Might have been a bit of a bump play there on the goal line, as no one was there. But again, this is just a great play from from Seton Hall setting this one up. Froze, yeah. kind of fakes people up, but Froze I think gets a bump. There it is on Golden mm -hmm. Light as he was on the backboard. And now one more, one minute and forty one, still plenty of time for either one of these teams to get some more goals. It starts with the Sean misplay right there, but Golden Light is not in a great situation to be able to save it after getting bumped right there mm -hmm. and. Uh, See what USF is able to answer with passing the ball to their own teammates. Banger leaving it for Golden Light, who is going to go up for it. But again, he does not have boost. Gets a oh nice my. pass. Shot's not there. And the third man, Sean, is going to go up for it. But again, USF is out of boost all oh around. Man, this is a beautiful play. Banger, you put this on target a little wide. But it, a lot of the times, they're not trying to play for the perfect touch yeah they're just trying to get a touch away from their opponents and find their teammates midfield if they can do that they're going to cause a lot of problems for the scene hall team this is a great pass actually off the oh. backboard golden light doesn't get the read but maybe called off by banger is now this one's floating just towards the scene hall goal but a little wide and as time take it, as time starts to take lower and lower for this scene hall uh, team starts to get dangerous as they do still need one more to force, force overtime now tone stakes it down 
Feels like USF is going to call them down just a little mm. bit. So, ooh, golden light. Almost just able to get it. But a loss of boost at a very, very crucial situation. But that's okay. You know, you keep the ball in their corner for about 10 seconds. Every second Anger. that ticks by is very good for the Bulls in this situation. And now, an Sean's quicker. Net. He's just quicker. He's just better. <laughs> He's just quicker. Just He's just better. better. Stokely here, I do believe, was the third and just gets beat. I think Froze there. Yeah, look uh, at Sean. Froze like, stole the boost, but Sean still has some in the back pocket and just beats Froze to that ball. And now, 25 seconds. You really do hope Seton Hall can get a kickoff goal here if they want any sort of chance to come back in this game. Well, we really don't hope so because we want to see USF win. But, yes, if you are a Seton Hall fan, you want to see exactly that. And that's exactly what they get. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the shot here from Froze high away, but Stokely, everyone expected this to go on net, even especially Sean, man. but it's that hits the backboard and Tone is aware of it and gets there in position. And now again, 17 seconds, anything's possible. Seton Hall just scored a kickoff goal. You also need to make sure this one does not go back in the Seton Hall possession. And uh, with that, it is in the USF half. So Seton Hall needs to keep this up. Tone puts it up. Sean gets it out. Yeah. Now. Froze is a little too late, and Sean, we've seen this one before. Gets past a couple. Demos won, but Froze has the last say here. Maybe he leaves it for a teammate, but Banger doesn't have to do much, but let this ball bounce on the ground, and USF will take game two. Game two goes to USF. Um, it was kind of a different story, though, than the first game. First game, you know, seeing Hall starts off a little bit quicker, a little mm -hmm. bit nicer. USF here is the one that had the better start in the game and almost let it go, but... Never yeah. too fully to say no. Yeah, kickoff goals is definitely a mm, what? What? Cheese. I don't know what. <laughs> I wouldn't say cheese. It's part of the game. For no, yeah, sure. it, for but, sure. Is. You know, you can go a whole three minutes in a game. You can go longer than that. Five minutes in a game and have one goal, and it'd be a good goal. And then mm -hmm. you could just right after that have a kickoff and the other team score. And it's a lot of times it's very demoralizing because you work so hard for that one goal, and then the other team just comes back and scores another. Here, that was my worry. USF giving off that kickoff goal and kind of getting down to the dumps. They still had the lead, though, and they're able to hold on to it for the next 30 seconds. But if you are Seton Hall, at least you get, you know, you get a goal and you're like, okay, we're back in this. Uh, and at least they know now they can score. Uh, most of that game, USF was mounting the pressure, and it's really hard to break out of that if you are Seton Hall. But not going to game three, you, are, you do have your backs against the wall, but it's a fresh start. You're 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, Again, this is when a team has to adapt. What can we do different to kind of give USF a different look here in this game three? Zero, zero, indeed. As a great man once said, the scoreboard does not lie. And uh, continued oh here. My oh, goodness. very, very close early goal from Sean. Now, Banger trying to keep up the pressure. And mm. uh, USF, let's see what they're able to do early on here. Because, again, remember what we said. St. Hall started game one better. U.S. have started game two better. Yeah. And now game three is match point and serious point yeah. for USF. Yeah, this is this is for all the marbles here if you are Seton Hall. If you're USF, you don't really want to go to a game four. It's not on your agenda. You think you can close this out now. And I can tell by their confidence right now how they're playing. Uh, Sean, kind of with those really fancy plays, but now Stokely oh! will put it under a banger. No one saw Banger on their screen, saw both Golden Light and Sean, but Banger comes out of nowhere and makes a clutch save for his squad. Oh, and what a pass right there as well to Golden Light. He's not able to get an insane touch on it. Now, Sean going to try to uh, pass it off to Golden Light, who picks it up the field. No one's there from USF just yet, so they're going to pick it up from half field. Ooh, and Froze is looking for a cheeky demo there. Golden Light looking for a shot. Tone gets bumped again. There is a demo oh, in the backfield, but Sean will have possession. Maybe look for a double here, but doesn't oh, no. get it. But... I it seems like every time Seton Hall have possession, they kind of they put a shot on that isn't as threatening, of course, except for that one banger had to come out of left field for. Yeah. But it never really seems like a big threat to USF. Uh, again, you know, not yet a threat for USF onto the Seton Hall goal, but I'm sure it's, it's, it's going to be here, and it's going to be soon. And uh, soon might come sooner than later. Uh, so let's see when it does finally end up coming. Froze. Froze. Leaving up for his teammate. Stokely's not able to get a great touch on it, but now Tone has it. Ooh. This could be dangerous, but Banger's at least able to get the touch for it. Still in the awkward spots. Yusef uh, is not looking too good with that. Stokely putting it up. Backboard. Banger's there. And the demo comes through as well. So uh, Seen Hall is going to reassess and start back up on the attack. Yeah, and you know... There's already been two or three demos this game, and we didn't see that many last game, if any. 
Uh, so maybe that's something Seton Hall starts to think about. The oh, demo plan, oh, another oh. clutch save from Banger, Sean. The mechanics there to get out of... Use the bump to his advantage and get on the offensive. Uh, but here is where you expect the Bulls to kind of hold Seton Hall. Seton Hall now low on boost. Froze does get a nice little touch and a oh, miss from no. Golden Light. And that's going to leave the net open for Seton Hall. And just like that, it was a small mistake. Even after all the amazing saves, I was going to make a great wall joke, but no, nope, hmm. a little bit too early on that one. And uh, seeing Hall with the 1-0 lead, let's see what they're able to do here. Half the game is left for Yosefs to come back. And again, they do not want to take this to game forward. They know St. Hall is not a team you want to mess with and give opportunities to come back. Yeah, if you're Seton Hall, uh, you want to hold on to this lead. You want to mount and add it to this lead. Keep playing your game. And if you're USF, you shake Sean. that one off. And Golden Light almost with a chance of redemption there as his shot is blocked away. But, you know, still plenty of time in this game. Two minutes and 15 is a... A lot of time in the world of Rocket League. Just keep playing your game. I think both these teams have a real shot at winning this one. Uh, but if you are Seton Hall, I'm liking, I'm liking where Seton Hall is at right now. And now the ball gets up a very, very awkward mm. situation. Finger, let's see what he's able to do with it. Puts it up onto the backboard. Who's there? No one is there, unfortunately. Uh, Golden Knight, that's not a good double. touch at all. Double could be coming from Froze, but not good enough. Now, oh, and now front post oh, by oh, Stokely. Oh. But Banger will be there in time, and now Golden Light has a bit of boost, has one more to beat, but great 50 from Tone to keep it away from his side of the field. Another one to get it into a dangerous position, but cleared away by USF. And now it just seems like Seton Hall have mounted a oh, bit of dangerous. pressure here, and USF are kind of flustered here in their own half. Yeah, they need to get this out. They need to get some control. It's been Seton Hall for the past minute, it seems. And uh, USF, again, does not want to give them an inch. It's a very good touch from Sean. Stokely is able to get it up. Golden Knight mm. doesn't get a great touch on it. And now, Seen Hall is going to restart the attack. Banger, see what he's able to do. Kind of just leaves it down for Froze, but he does not have much boost. Nope, forget that. He just picked up a whole bag of it. Oh, Tone going to put it down. That's a great play. It, we were seeing the POV of uh, Stokely, I'm yeah. pretty sure. Or no, it was Froze. No, it was Froze. He was and like, Froze, he, Froze is kind of in a weird position. He's like, okay, is the ball coming to me or not? And sees that his teammate has an oh, like a perfect shot in the midfield and says, hey, I'm going to go for this bump. And it works perfectly for his squad. And it's a situation like that where kind of you see your team just taking care of the play and you're like, how can I help? All right, let me just go be annoying. Yeah. Uh, and that's exactly what he does right there. Is able to bump USF and get a very, very crucial goal for St. Hall. That 2-0 lead. Looking much better now with only 45 seconds left. Let's see what USF is able to do. Yeah, Seton Hall were able to come back oh, down to by one. And now this ball is floating. Oh, Golden oh, Light kind of just knowing it's going to go a little high. But it's still very, very tough here. USF, they need two goals in the next 30 seconds. They need to start looking for something now as Golden Light doesn't get the touch he wants. And now ball is just in the midfield. Looks like Sean and Froze will get a, kind of a tied 50 there. As the ball's still staying on the USF side. But again, Seton Hall, they like this. They just want to keep the ball here. Keep it away from USF. That's all you really got to do in this situation. Yeah, keep up the pressure. Even if your third person isn't really back that far. Oh, Sean has to get it out, but does get doomed in the situation. And with that, Seton Hall takes game three. Yeah. And uh, uh, USF has to reassess. Yeah, this is this is a big game for Seton Hall yeah. because obviously you needed to win this one. But it seems like they have USF figured out here. USF, they weren't able to get as many passing plays in the midfield. Uh, a couple times that I did notice it happened for USF, Seton Hall were cutting it out. Uh, Seton Hall, they're not playing with a too passive third man, but again, they're not keeping him too far forward. So those are like the main things that I've noticed from the Seton Hall squad. USF, you know, <clears throat> I hate to say it, but it's that big mistake from Golden Light that kind of separated it. Both teams played solid. Just that one mistake really gave Seton Hall this win. I'm not going to take anything away from them. They played a great game. But it's those fine margins at this level that's going to separate you from other teams in this league. Yeah, and you were just talking about it. At this level of play, it's not always about the most optimal like way to play. Sometimes it's about making your opponents miss. Yep. Sometimes it's about doing the unoptimal way, which will turn well. Mm. And, ooh, Banger, almost a great shot right there. But Froze, he will stay back and get it out. Yeah, not much Banger could do there. Looking for a pinch on the ground. Doesn't have the boost to really get any power under it. But now Golden Light trying to beat Stokely, but can't. And Sean has to come out. And now Golden Light, maybe with an opportunity oh. to shoot, has it. And oh, tries Ooh. the double, but it's too wide. Oh, Golden Light's definitely going to be a little upset over that one as he thought he had a nice goal there. But instead, scoreline stays at zeros for both, both these squads. I'm still upset about that one because I wanted to see it happen as well. Froze. Mm. It's a really nice shot right there, but USF is able to get it out. 
Again, we are still on serious point for USF. Seen Hall has to win two more. Mm. With how they played last game, it doesn't look too out of proportions for them. Oh, and now Golden Knight. Oh, yeah, so he's got a little no. touch, but he hits it a little too high. Ah. And oh, so much just going for the poles now, but just it just seems like not finishing is the problem. Now, Tone in a bit of a tough situation does have the boost to clear this one out. Now, Sean, Sean, Sean off a respawn has to be the one to gather this ball heavy of a touch now midfield pass a little too far forward and golden light he has a little bit of time he has the boost see if he can do anything here tone goes up but does not win the 50 but golden light does not get the best touch either is now it looks like seton hall want to march down to the usf squad uh, side but still nothing really working out for either one of these teams now let's we'll see what they're mm. able to do for just a little bit earlier who backboard stokely is there what a great pass and a better shot from stokely yeah, because of this great touch from or from Froze, it forces Golden Light to have to make a read on the shot from Stokely. But because he puts it so high, it's it's just really tough for Golden Light to make a save in that situation. And now Seton Hall again, they find themselves in the driver's seat of this game four. And if you're USF, you're starting to get a little worried. You don't want to get uh, you don't want to get too much in your head because you know if you go to game five with the way Seton Hall is playing in this latter half of the series, it's going to be very tough to try to beat them now. I'll make a prediction right here. I think if USF scores one goal in this game, they win it. If they don't score one, they of course will lose it. But <laughs> I, I only like we only if they score oh one goal, goodness. just one goal, I think they will win the game. I, I do not care because they will get so much momentum from that one goal. And I really do believe so. It, it feels like they're getting frustrated now. And yeah. they just need that goal to take it off. Yeah, now third man for Seton Hall a little too far forward, but again, USF don't get the best clearance. There's not the Banger. pass there either. And Banger gets bumped. Aggressive rotation there from the third man to try to contest that one early. Sean is rotating back. Does get beaten. Who's in the midfield for Seton Hall? Oh, no. Banger doesn't get the call. It. No one's there. And now Golden Light has to come in. And, you know, if you are Sean, you wish someone would have said, oh, you know, you have time. Because there he could have just gotten possession and maybe made a play into the Seton Hall half, but instead has to make a dive challenge to no one really there for the shot. Now, ooh, Sean has to stay back, but that's a good clear. Puts it up. Stokely keeps it up for his mm. teammates. Throws there. Gets a decent touch on it. Sean wins that 50-50 very, very well. And but now, again, no one for USF has boost here. There's no really, yeah. there's no ability to break out into the Seton Hall half and make any play happen because there's no boost. Everyone, you can watch this replay right now. Look at how healthy the bars are for Seton Hall. Yeah, Everyone has yeah. boost. Everyone's able to go out for these aerials, but no one for USF has. Golden Light has a little bit, but he doesn't make the read on that corner. And it's just really tough when you have no boost and the other team does. It, it's a different game. And I still stick by my prediction, by the way. If USF scores one goal, they will make a comeback and win this game. And I, I can see, man, it's close. It's really close. They're getting frustrated. They're getting annoyed. And, uh, mm. oh, banger. That's such a great touch right there to be able to get it out. Seen Hall has been playing so, so well as of late. Oh, and a little bit of miscommunication oh, no. here in the USF back line. But Sean, just in time to make that save. And it just seems like USF, maybe the comms aren't quite there. Maybe they're, they've kind of lost the oh, mojo they touch. had. But that's actually a nice read. And maybe if Golden Light can put this one down, but a great save for Froze. Who is there? There's a double Sean commit, though. There we there go. Sean finding that top left corner. And this is just what USF needed. That's, that's so, so good right there. Golden Light with a great shot. But a better save from Froze. And Sean is able to get it. And boom, that's all I need. I think we win here. Boom. We're, I, I know we're down 1-0. I'm calling it. I'm calling it's, it. It's easy to say from where you're sitting, but... It's so easy to say from where I'm sitting. Yeah, yes, I know. But, but when, you, when you have a team like Seton Hall and you put on the performance you have in games, you know, in all these games, all of them being close, they have the lead and it's hard to dismiss that. Seton Hall, they're going to do whatever they can not to just hold this lead, but to add to it, as you saw them get a 2-0 lead in this game. So if you're USF, you have to make sure you don't get too aggressive. Don't give Seton Hall any look at another goal, because oh, if they do matters. allow Seton Hall another one, it's going to be a tough coming back from another two-goal deficit. Golden Lights. Oh, no. This could be very bad for USF, and no one is there in the back line. And that's a bad touch. And, and can't and say this, too much about that. And I told you. I mean, Golden Light here... Has to go, has to challenge, because there has to be a shot. You know, maybe maybe play a bit passive there. Wait, because no one for USF was anywhere close to rotating back. But Golden Light in that situation thought he had to go up, and, you know, great read from Seton Hall, just playing it around them. Both members from Seton Hall uh, were able to read that touch. But now 51 seconds to go, and Seton Hall again have this two-goal lead, and they do not look like they want to let go of it at all here, Ibram. 
for sure as uh, we only have 40 seconds now. Let's see what USF is able to do. Continued pressure from seeing Hall, but again, not too much boost on their end. Now they're going to just pass it off to their teammates. A good demo. Sean is going up. Stokely doesn't get that great of a touch, but he's at least able to get it out of USF possession. Golden Light mm. gets it down the middle. Sean, he's going mm. up for it. Is the shot going to be good? No, Stokely's not going to be enough. And now Froze trying to get the double, and Golden Light's going to be able to get the save. So, so well done right there. Now continued aggression, but it just seems like that's going to be it for game four. And Seen Hall will take it. Yeah, uh, this one definitely was in Seen Hall's control a lot more. Oh, yeah. Uh, I know that, as you said, you know, USF, they score. They win this game. You were they wrong, They played so much better all. after. They were wrong, Oh, yeah, of course of I was wrong. But they played so <laughs> much better sure after you that know first that. goal. But after they scored, yes, they played a lot better. They played a lot more confident. Mm -hmm. But all it takes is one demo, one little mistake. One more mistake and, to bring you down to earth. And I do believe there was a demo that led to that that last goal from Seton Hall in the midfield. And that kind of creates just chaos in the rotation because that second man is demoed. That means the third man is still third man, but has to kind of play as a second man because this third man is going to rotate back uh, in, in, the, in the spawn. Uh, and it just kind of throws everything off, especially when Seton Hall is mounting an attack. You have to coordinate with your team and say, hey, do I go for this one? Hey, I got. If you know you got a better angle, kind of just say that for your teammates to know. But, of course, demos, they're always going to create chaos. And that's something you have to work with. If you want to avoid it, Obviously, avoid a demo, but sometimes it's just inevitable when you're trying to make a play on the ball, and Seton Hall, they kind of feel like they figured that one out. The demo game is really working for them here. Yeah, we were just talking earlier about how, hey, we're not seeing too many demos. Yeah. We're seeing clean play from both teams, and once those demos came out, it feels like it kind of shifted the power a little bit more to Seton Hall's direction, and uh, you know what? What I love about Game 5s is that, yes, we can say momentum, we can talk about that word a ton, but... I don't care, man. Game fives are a clean slate for both teams. Yeah. Everyone is on the same playing field. Well, this is a one game <clears throat> series right here for both sides and winner takes all. You know, going back to what you said, I disagree. I think game fives in this situation slightly favors the side of Seton Hall. Obviously, it favors oh, yeah. whoever scores first because if you, I, I think it's been a trend here. Whoever scores first has been more likely to win because uh, Seton Hall, I did... I do believe scored first in the last two games. I uh, can't quite recall how that went for the first couple. Oh. But Sean looking for a chance. But Seton Hall, they won the last two. They have all the momentum on their side in USF. They're kind of in a rut. They've we been able to score. On that They've been able to score, but they don't seem to have the control like they did in games one and game two. And now a midfield pass. No one there for USF again. But <laughs> the hanger putting it. Oh, my goodness. Keeps the missing on the goal line. And USF just not expecting it. And now a counter for Seton Hall. Froze tries to get back in front of it, but it will be Tone. Puts it up. And now forces the banger to go up. Doesn't have a second touch, it but down. it will be Golden Light to try to work this one away. But now, just a double t uh, commit here from USF. Sean. But it looks like it might work out as Sean puts it high. Who is there? It's going to be Tone as Seton Hall avoid another good chance from USF. Now, it seemed like it was such good start for USF, but they can they keep it going? It has calmed down a little bit more right here. Sean's going up for it. It's going to be a decent touch to Banger, but that's going to be very much to him. Golden Light's with a dangerous touch, and now it's in Seton Hall's possession. They're just trying to run away from the cavalry who's running at them. Mm. Ooh, kind of a good touch right there from Stokely to uh, put it down. But now Sean, he doesn't have much boost on his end either, just trying to cause mayhem. And now Golden Light is getting the 50 on his end as well. USF, going to want to keep the ball up in the air. Ooh, and it was almost a great shot right there. Yeah, so far so good. Uh, definitely either team's game. Uh, as this time... Starts to tick off both teams. You'll probably see a little bit of nerves coming up because they understand that whoever scores the first goal of this game, they're going to have a lot to say about who wins it. Uh, so far, Seton Hall there. And you see here another really aggressive demo play and two dead for USF. Golden Light does well in just stalling it up in the air. But this allows Seton Hall to kind of establish that rotation, aggressive rotation in the USF half. Now, Froze goes up. Oh, a double whiff, four misses. But now USF might have a counterattack here in mind. Sean puts it off uh, of one Golden Seton Light. Hall member. Stokely does get the touch. The touch from Sean back into the midfield. A shot Ooh! from Golden Light. It's off the post. No. And Tone will clear it away. 
Oh, and if you're USF, one more. you want to keep this pressure here. You want to take advantage of this, as no one, one from more. Seton Hall really with that much boost. Sean, another one, deflected away by Seton Hall. Golden Light with no boost to his name. Going to try to look for something for his squad. Maybe a little bit of a uh, bump play here. But Banger understands that he cannot push forward in this situation. Does now, but with his rotations coming in from his teammates. And, man, we're feeling like DJ Khaled over here. Another one and another one. And that's what happens when you let your guard down from USF, Sean doesn't get that great of a touch and kind of leaves in the bad spot for Gordon Lights. And uh, the ball just goes in the back of the net. Banger couldn't come out of left field for that one. He was just way too far off. Yeah, that one is, is tough because you lose it off a of 50 and the Seton Hall player was just in a better position. Demo. Whenever you do have a member of your team, as Seton Hall is coming down back to the USF uh, side, uh, whenever you have a member on your team trying to play for a 50, uh, 50 with low boost, you have to make sure someone is ready for some sort of 50 going to the midfield. Because if they are ready and you're not, they're going to Whoa. make you pay for it. Tone with a very important touch right there. But Stokely, I feel like, would not have such a great touch because he kind of just gives it back to USF. Uh, no one's on that ball for USF, and it just uh, opens up the field for Seton Hall. Now, this one's going to roll up the wall, thankfully. But you have to have someone on a little more quick on the closing of space. Now, maybe a chance your Golden Light has a bit of space. Maybe Sean's trying to dunk. Him. Sean does go up quick, but will be beat by uh, Stokely. And here's a bump here from uh, from Sean, but again, nothing comes out of it. And that's been the story Team almost pressure. all day. Sean does have a shot, but saved again by the zero boost tone. And if you're USF, you have mm. to keep them here. You cannot let them get this kind of clear because it allows for players to get boost. And then they come back, and they're going to try to get a shot like this from Stokely, cleared away from Banger, keeping USF's hope alive here in game five. One minute left, and it... Uh it doesn't seem long enough because oh. USF needs as much as they can to get this one goal right here that they need to tie up the match. Remember, USF was leading this 2-0. Now they are losing 1-0 uh, in the final game of the series. Let's see what they're able to do here. Another attack. Golden Knights able to get a 50-50 in the middle. Stokely's not able to get a good touch on it. And this going to go up. And this forces Sean into a weird situation because he wants to go for this ball, but he also understands he has to be the last resort in case Seton Hall does get a counter. Oh. Now, the change up here from Seton Hall down to Tone. And Seton Hall, they come back from losing or trailing this series 2 0 to 22 seconds until they complete the reverse sweep. And that's rough. That's really rough. 2 0 lead for Seton Hall. Never say never, though, for USF. 22 seconds left and two goals are the goal for the yeah, team. Golden Light does get possession, gets past a it's couple. A good play. And now if you're USF, you need to capitalize here if you want a chance, but Froze does get it so past a couple. It up. Ball's in the midfield. No one really ready for it for USF to pass nah. over to Banger, but it's not strong enough. Time's ticking, five seconds to go, and Seton Hall will complete the reverse sweep against USF and take the dub here. Ah, that's tough. That's tough, you Oh, yeah, that's tough. That's uh, that's when you just put GGs and you kind of just uh, have to stay quiet a little. Bit yeah, in, in the party chat with the goal. Yeah, it it definitely does a lot to your to your mental when you have a a, a two all lead against a team like Seton Hall and you just lose like this. Every one of these games were close, you know, within two goals. Uh, but it just seemed like Seton Hall on those counterattacks were so strong today. Cutting out those midfield passes, USF weren't allowed the kind of space that Seton Hall was allowed. So. Again, GG's to Seton Hall. Oh, Great yeah. win here. Uh, USF do finish week one. They've played their three games, and they will be going into week two with a one and two record. You know, and uh, it's not a terrible record to have after week one. You know, you had yeah. to play the best team in collegiate Rocket mm -hmm. League in that Northwood well, team. You know, that, that's a hot take, but yes, I, I, I would agree. I it, don't think that's even that hot of a take. <laughs> there's a lot of good teams out there. You know, you never know. I, I never I, said they I'm were very, bad teams. I'm very curious to see how this season uh, shapes up near the end. I want to see kind of what teams are going to make a name for themselves because there oh, are sure. a few a few new teams Paced here. Paced off past results. How does that sound? Okay, there you go. There we go. There I, I go. like it. I like it. I got you to finally crack on yes. that one. But, uh, you know, it, it was coming in at the end, and you have to have a short memory. Yeah. You know, that's why... Well, that's why I love game fives. Yeah. Is that you have to come in and act like a goldfish, act like nothing has ever happened. Yeah. And uh, you know, it, it's it looked good. It started off well for USF. They had a really great start to that game five. Yeah. They just couldn't keep it up. And Saint Hall capitalized on so many mistakes. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you could say it was USF's fault for making the mistakes. Yeah. But being there in the correct place in the correct position to capitalize off of them is a skill of its own right.
Yeah, it is. And that physicality, the bumping plays coming out late in this series, games three, game four, and game five, all, I feel like were very physical. And that was something USF really couldn't handle. And they yeah. weren't doing it really back to Seton Hall. Uh, so I do think the demo play was a very big part of why Seton Hall was able to bring this series back and, and win it all here. And again, you got to just give it up to Seton Hall. GG's. We yeah. will be back, though. Yes. You know, USF is not done. And that's the one thing I love about this team is mm -hmm. that this team is a bit newer. They still have that new member in Golden Light who's not really new, but he's new to the team. And they're still figuring out how to play to get together, how to communicate as a team. And I want to see them at their top because this is not their top yet. But I, when I, I completely agree. Yeah. I think, you know, give this team a little bit of time to work together to get this rotation, to get all their, their play down and really kind of muscle memory and I think this team will do very, very well going towards uh, going forward in this in this uh, in this league. Uh, real quick for everyone that are, are watching, uh, next week Tuesday we will have USF against RIT. That will be on the main Rocket League stream yeah. uh, on drops. Twitch. Get your drops. Get your so drops. 8 p.m. on Tuesday versus RIT. Then as well on the same day, 10:30 p.m. versus OSU. That will be on the College Carball Twitch channel. So a lot of fun action there. Not from us, but uh, over at Carball and RLCS, or Rocket League, rather. They have a lot of really good casters, really good talent they're there. Okay. That, Compared to that, us, they're that, <laughs> that will provide us with that entertainment for those games. You know, it gives us a chance to sit back, you know, put our feet up and, and watch our Bulls play. Uh, and they do play Oakland as well next week. That is still TBD. Uh, join the Discord and make sure you have all of those cool roles to make sure you do not miss any of the news on Rocket League or any of the esports here at USF. And yeah, with that, it's been a pleasure, guys. Ibram over here, coffee over there. Garrett's somewhere in the back as well. We just don't have his camera. We'll get it someday. We'll One got day. you, Garrett. One day we'll show love to the producer. Hey, man, we always love to do that. But hey, with that, guys, have a great night. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday and, uh, you know, come back to the USF channel. We have some cool stuff.